ericmothermother.com. In this video, I want to use Apple's chat to show the power of technical analysis and really have no agenda, no set plan. I'm just going to wing it. Just want to discuss some of the things here in terms of technical analysis and some things that sometimes we might not see, you know, right away. But we can see here that there was this movement to new highs that came with declining price, no, RSI strength. So prices make, make a new high and our RSI does not make a new high. Of course, we all know that is negative divergence. And then we get this pullback, right? So that seems very straightforward, but not quite. Let me say why I say that, because see here, there's negative divergence. Try to break out lower RSI level, which we can say that was negative divergence. But notice we don't get a big drop. We just get a shallow drop and then a movement to new highs. In fact, we see another improvement to new highs, but the RSI makes another lower high. So again, negative divergence. And yet, we get another shallow drop. So the question becomes, why do we get a big drop recently as opposed to the shallow drop after we saw negative divergence? The last couple of negative divergence were not as strong. So the question is, how come? Right? I mean, negative divergence should be negative divergence. Let me put this another way. Improvement. RSI makes a lower high, negative divergence. So in theory, we should have dropped. But we never did. Actually, we held around the 50-day moving average, went to new highs. So the question becomes, what's the difference between this negative divergence and this negative divergence? Because the results are different. Here we get a shallow pullback. Here we get a bigger drop. All right, so let me try and explain that the best I can. Whenever you have negative divergence and you find support around the RSI 50, the support around the RSI 50 means that's all the downside there is going to be. Here we move back above RSI 50, which coincides with the 50-day moving average. Once you see support around the 50-day moving average, which was pointing higher, right? So the trend was being confirmed as still being good. And you can see that you have uniform activity. No, you have support back above the RSI 50. That means that that's all the downside that was predicted by the negative divergence. Negative divergence. Negative divergence. But all of these negative divergences were prevented from going lower because of immediate support. The difference with the recent pullback is notice we drop below the 50-day moving average so that that was busted and we also did not find support at the RSI 50 level and that's the difference okay the difference is that when you take the trade here after observing negative divergence and you let's say you are bearish what you are anticipating and you are hoping and praying is that the market fails to hold RSI 50. That's one tell that there is potential for lower prices. Also, we can see that that was also confirmed by RSI break. There's a trend line break there. You can see that trend line break. That meant lower prices. We also see another break. When we connect the lows here, here and there, we can see that as of the last trading session, we broke below the support. So in other words, you can see the same sell signal, but it all depends on whether you're going to find immediate support 
or not. If you find immediate support, then that's it. There's no more downside. And because I'm just winging it in this video, there's no really main purpose. I just want to talk about technical analysis in general. You can see the lows there on a daily closing basis, the lows there on a daily closing basis, and this RSI level. Those two RSI levels show support at the 30.9 RSI level. So uniform activity bounce at the RSI 30.9 level meant those were the lows for Apple and it would move higher from those two instances from a daily closing basis. Take a look at the difference now. We see that we have a big drop in the last trading session about 4% which is big for Apple 4% down and the reason in my opinion is because the RSI drops below 30.9 and that's the reason otherwise it was trying its best to hold as you can see here there was an attempt to hold back above 30.9 here which is this attempt but the market would go on to break it so that's a change in the sentiment right there and the movement below 30.9 is why we have an expansion in price action to the downside also we can see that some of the recent corrections and there were shallow corrections for example here and here came with negative divergence and again here and here or well, I guess attempt to break out so that was also negative divergence but all these pullbacks were shallow but at least you get a pullback based on negative divergence so before I leave the daily chart we can see that as long as the stock remains below 30.9 As long as it remains below 30.9, it means that the stock should be under downside pressure. And of course, because the line is well defined, we can see that the stock is coming also to test an upward sloping 200 day moving average, which means that if it can bounce on this 200 day moving average line, it also means that there's a chance that now it starts recovering. But the key short term, in my opinion, would be whether it stays above 30.9 on the daily or not. Below 30.9, it means to expect lower prices. And if it can bounce back above 30.9, that might be the beginning of some recovery attempt. So above 30.9 will be the beginning of a recovery attempt. Now let's take a look at the weekly chart. First off, we can see improvement in prices declining technical strength so that clearly is negative divergence which might explain why we recently see this pullback also there is a line connecting top side of the RSI on the weekly and it might also have been another reason why we see this pullback after the line got rejected or the RSI got rejected on this line right there. That might be another reason. Now we see a substantial drop in terms of percentage down about 6% which makes sense because the stock was moving below RSI 50. As you move below RSI 50 you tend to have a reaction or move to the downside. Now it is also important to note from a technical standpoint that since about August September of 2016 the stock has been using the RSI 50 for support. So anybody trading this, of course, would now have to consider what would happen if the stock stayed below 50. And of course, if the stock stays below 50, 
we know the trend tends to be to the downside. If it can recover back above 50, then that means that it is showing much needed support and that it is due for a recovery move to the upside. Also, right now, we see that it is coming back to test RSI lows line going back to the RSI lows from 2015 here touching these lows which were for the lows there touching those lows and now we are back here so of course from a visual perspective this becomes a level to watch in that support would be good and bullish and at the same time a break of that line would be bearish. Now I want to show you where support could come based on this RSI movement here. You can draw it somewhere there. The reason why we can draw it there is because we know that since it broke out here, the stock has pretty much been higher. In other words, since that movement, we haven't looked back. The stock did go on to respond very well and over time would we'll see an improvement in prices. So this was a critical RSI movement. We take that information and draw our uniformity line. And the idea here is that anytime we bounce on this line with uniform action and we hold, if we can hold here, then that might suggest this is where we get our recovery. At the same time, if we break below this line, Combine that with the previous line, which connects the lows. If we break those two lines, then that would suggest to expect much, much lower prices. In other words, we are at a level of support or break as we begin trading after February 2nd, 2018. If we can find support on the weekly on this line and if we can find support on the RSI lows line that would be very bullish and if we break well that's gonna be bearish now if we take a look at the monthly the monthly is a little bit of a concern as of right now because we've been seeing this improvement to new highs on a monthly closing basis but there seems to be a line of resistance if I can draw it like that in other words this is a form of negative divergence and because this is a monthly chart this might have long-term ramifications because of this negative divergence. So we can say, put another way, is that because the long-term picture is already giving us a major sell signal, there is elevated risk for lower prices, especially once we start breaking potential support on the daily and on the weekly. Take a look at this long-term monthly chart. We see here we had an improvement in 2014-15 but that also came with declining strength which led to a meaningful pullback here before recovering. So right now we see similar type situation where we've seen month to month improvement over a period of many months but the RSI was not improving. Also. In my opinion, the fact that the RSI has been moving above 69.1 and back below it with uniform action looks like, in my opinion, we can call this a triple top. Here, here, and here. That triple top, in my opinion, acts as uniform activity rejection at the 69.1 level. And I think, ultimately, that's not a good sign based on the triple top and the RSI 69.1 uniform activity rejection. Now, of course, in the months ahead, 
we can, when, when the time is appropriate, when the RSI comes to this line, we can watch this for support or break. At the same time, if you consider the lows of the 2003 lows, which is here, where the RSI moved above a range, let's do it like that, the stock hasn't looked back. We've had a substantial increase in prices since then. We can take that RSI information and draw our uniformity support line like that. So, we can see that this is where it has been using the same line, the blue line, for major support. For example, the lows of late 08, early 09, the lows of 2013, the lows of early 2016. So we know that at some point down the road, it might be forced to come and test these two lines, where support would be bullish and a break of those two lines would be bearish. So visually, support on these two lines at some point would be good and failure to hold those lines would definitely be a major sell signal. Alright, so let me end this video by taking a look at the short term hourly chart. And the first thing we notice, we had an improvement hour to hour with declining strength. So that was negative divergence. Negative divergence tends to show up pretty much everywhere there is a pullback of some size. Interestingly also, you'll notice that the same negative divergence line gave us the high right here. Once the RSI was rejected at that point, we see that it gives us that hourly closing high. Since then, we've been lower. So the same line became relevant. Again, the same line is relevant if we extend it. I'll draw it like that. It also gives us another high short term. So the market has an unbelievable memory. The same line becomes resistance right there. What is interesting is there's another line if you take this previous support line extend it out something like that you get a break here which is movement somewhere there we take the same line and extend it and the confluence of those two lines the blue line and the red line gives us that short term high before we get this pullback here. Notice also the size of the drop corresponds with RSI holding below 30.9. So hour to hour, it also means that the more we stay below 30.9, the more we can expect a continuation of this recent pullback. So, lots of things in terms of technicals to consider. Just wanted to take a look at one stock and pretty much cover as many technical parameters as we follow to show you the power and relevance of technical analysis. Hope that was of some help, some insight, and it gives you some, you know, something to use and also don't forget i'm going to include links in the description of this video for some of the topics that we've discussed here in case you want to research this even further eric mother with mother.com as always good luck peace and blessings i'm i shall see you in the next video edition and so it is e i c s Mwah. Woo! yeah